You need to have Minecraft that is, you know, bought from the Google Play Store because you need Google Play Store or you need to sign in with Google to actually, you know, use this uh, launcher. You can also use an APK, but that is not advisable. And <laughs> I don't like promote piracy here. But uh, yeah, if you love Minecraft, just support them. And you need to have a flat pack or a flat hub, like you need to have a distribution that supports flat hub, I mean. So if you have that, then you're ready to go. So here we go, I have Manjaro here, KDE. And you need, if, if you need to do is with this first method, you need to go to add remove software here or PAMAC. I already have it open and I'm already here. So first, uh, let's just go back. <laughs> so first, when you launch add remove software or PAMAC, you need to click on the three lines here. You need to go to preferences and you need to type your password. And this is like the settings here. So you need to go to your flat pack thing and you need to enable this thing. You need to switch it from yeah. here to here. Yeah. And after that, you have flat pack support. And if you can see, you need to check updates so you have the latest, you know, things from the flat pack, you know, repository. And yeah, pretty much that's all. You need to like, you know, just go to Minecraft, just type it on the search box here. So you can see go to flat pack and you can see flat pack flat hub this is a flat pack package and minecraft bedrock launcher by M mr amr i mean or mc amr okay i forgot okay i'm so sorry dude yeah mc mc amr or mr amr thank you it sounds familiar because i think i heard i've heard of that from like toolbox for minecraft and uh, yeah, if you're an old school Minecraft player, yeah, you'll know that, guys. But yeah, this project runs on native libraries from Android. That's why you need Google. And you know, they fix the incompatibilities. And this is like a compatibility, the compatibility layer that doesn't impact performance. If you watch my other videos, or if you you know, a, a, you know, if you're a current sub subscriber, you might find my videos so laggy. But when I play it. On my personal perspective it's not laggy that's why I, i'm not reacting to like the lag because it, it's not laggy it's obvious you know trying to mess up my recording since i'm using old hardware guys so that's a problem but when you play it, it's buttery smooth it's like wine but you know different you can also sign in with xbox live which is pretty pretty cool guys you can access server with this servers i mean this is the first method that actually works. It also has the GPL3, you know, license. And just click install and you're done. You can just open it. If you can see, this is not the icon. This is actually the icon. I just modified it to work with game mode. If you want that tutorial, go link down below. Or go just, you know, j just go comment down below or like the video. I don't know. I might not make that. You can just, you know, experiment with that. So, you also have this thing. You can select your latest version, latest Minecraft version with this profile profile tab and you can just select the latest one this will work because this is the first method that is actually supporting you know the the latest minecraft versions so this actually supports mac os and that goes with the second method guys it's not the latest method guys and it's pretty much not you know advisable for me at least if you, if you want the latest minecraft version go for it or go with the flat hub flat hub version this is you know not compatible with latest minecraft bedrock edition you can actually click on mac i don't know how to like you know do that on mac i don't know how to install it but you guys can you know click on that if you're a mac user watching this and if you're on linux click on the linux thing this is an app image so it's my it might be different guys and yeah this won't work with 1.16.20 that's why so you can browse through it and you can see all your distributions and here i have arch linux if you're running manjaro of course you can just copy and paste all of this if you can see one by one and you can just get it by doing that if you can see if you're using debian or you know ubuntu or ubuntu i mean you also have arch linux again with manjaro you need to enable multilib this is how so you need to go to your terminal and i might zoom in here you need to type sudo nano slash etc by the way this is again how to you know enable the mul the multilib thingy multi-lib so after that sudo nano pacman that dot uh, sudo nano slash etc slash pacman that dot com you can actually scroll down and see multi-lib 
and this is actually not working for me when i was refreshing like the databases it says like error you need to delete the thing above the include guys that's what i did i think it was package required i'm not quite sure you need to delete that and that actually worked for me you need to save this so to save this you need to you know control o and just you know click enter or type enter and that's it i didn't wrote any lines but yeah it's pretty much it if you deleted that thing that thing above the include thingy because that messed up things and i couldn't like up update like the databases so yeah after you edited that freaking um you know pacman.conf you can just go to sudo you know you can just go to your you know root just type sudo su to switch user and you will go to root mode sudo pacman sy and then pacman and then syy and if you can see it will update your like pat like your databases if you can see there's no error if you guys did the first thing like uncommented like the multilib it will say like error and but when you delete that thing above the include it will not say error i don't know if it's the same for you guys but that's the thing for me that's what happened to me guys that's why i'm telling you the these things so yeah that's pretty much all if you're done with that you can just launch the app image or you know the the flat pack version the flat the app image works the same but that's not the latest thing so you cannot play like servers on it because you know it's not the latest minecraft version like make this an official launcher microsoft like help like christopher hx and mcamr or mr amr so yeah i think that's all i hope i made this clear this is actually my first tutorial i don't know guys if i made it clear i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash subscribe if this helped and smash like and ring that notification bell icon so you won't miss any video like this one right here you can also catch with uh you know you can also catch gaming videos because i always do gaming videos here this is actually a different genre on my channel so i'll see you guys in the next video and stay safe as always bye bye